but it is also tiring. Tired? Why? What happened? No, nothing like household courses and all this stuff. Just because of that. Okay, okay. Hi, Shri. Hey, Hemant. Good to have you. All right. So, uh, great. Who all I have? Amit is here. Mani Kandan. Anjali is here. Fantastic. I have a few more people joining in. But thanks for joining here. This is uh, our uh, Sunday prayers. Very important towards the course called BMP. Also more about Agile, PMI, ACP, and also helping to learn management. But thanks for being here. And uh, today we're going to spend some time on uh, question papers. Solve some questions. Okay. So I heard a message in the WhatsApp group to bring some questions, which we can converse. On top of that, I do have some questions to share. We'll do a conversation. Uh, before we get on, first let's talk about something about the exam. Um, last few days, I had a few set of people who cleared the exam, who cleared the exam, and uh, it was quite good to hear that exam is still in the same pace, which means the intensity has not increased. They are maintaining the same normal pace. What is a normal pace? Which means the question is not too tough. The questions are not too easy. They stand somewhere in the center. Uh, there was a guy who took exam, of course, uh, not from India. He's from a different country and different uh, way of uh, schooling and colleges. For him, he said the first 60 questions were super straight. I was able to choose answers straight away. I was able to eliminate the two answers, look at the two more closer, one I able to trigger it and go. I was keep going with the first 60 questions, then I took a break. I went for the break, had a cup of coffee, and came back. And he said, I thought exam is pretty easy. Uh, with this speed, I will complete the exam 30 minutes early, clear, I'll go home happily. Second 60 started. The moment I started second 60, big questions started coming in. And I read the question first time, second time, I couldn't figure out what these guys are asking. So after some time, it became like, by a guess, I started answering. Uh, it, it is not a solid answer. It was a guess. I thought maybe A. I thought maybe C. And the whole 60 questions went like that. I was so totally frustrated. I thought I'm going to lose the exam. And then I go for a second break. Now I took a coffee, but not in a good mood. Came around for the third round. In the third round, question again started getting easy. <laughs> so, so till the last minute, I don't know whether I'm going to clear the exam. And when I came out, it said I cleared and above target and all. So see, I couldn't guess whether I did the right or wrong in the center 60 question, uh, but still I got above target and all, which means look like I did a good. Now, why I say the story is, uh, this person is coming from a different standard of schools and colleges. And uh, English is pretty fluent for this person because their uh, language is different. And uh, for him, when he say that, I, I completely understand what is going through the exam hall. So point is, the exam is not too easy. It's not too tough. It's somewhere there. So out of 180 questions, at least you get uh, 50, 60 questions, crazy tough. And at least uh, 120 questions are moderate. Uh, one ask to people here, uh, what is the um, uh, what is the pass mark for PMP exam, if you are aware of it? What is the pass mark of PMP exam? It's not revealed anywhere. Uh, not given anywhere? <laughs> okay, so what could, be, <laughs> what could be the pass mark? Any guess? Maybe 70%, 70%, 65%. 65%. Okay, let's go by 65%. If 180 questions, 65%, how many questions should be correct? 120. Uh, so which means, uh, can we go 60 questions wrong? So we have uh, a room of mistakes of 50 to 60 questions. This is correct? Um, should I think like this? At any cost, I should not make not even one question wrong. Should I go to the exam in this mindset? Or there is a possibility I will make mistakes. Which one is better choice? Um, there is a possibility of making mistakes. Okay. Okay. That's very clear. 
or i should think i will make all are wrong everything will go wrong sir if we go to the uh, examination hall saying that we i'll not do any mistakes itself we'll do around 10 to 20 mistakes and if we say i am allowed to do some mistakes means obviously it will be even more uh, the other end of the spectrum that's also another view I appreciate that view also uh, but uh, honestly the feel here is the more you say that i have to be super perfect on the nervousness people do mistakes um rather putting a pressure for a children or a school you say that if you don't score 80% or 100% i will beat you i'll complain to your teacher it's tough it's okay prepare well do the ground work do the ground work there no there is no lenient there be strict on ground work prepare well but when you go to exam failures are common in life however it is do the best in the world you be yourself in the exam hall i think this is matured thought prepare well however go to the exam and feel that possibilities are there mistakes could happen but be focused and that way your mind get little more relaxed and focus and start answering better chances are all 100 can be correct all 180 can be correct so message you want to convey here is don't pressurize yourself even when you practice your 10 question paper 10 questions exam 40 questions exam 60 questions exam 180 questions exam don't put a too much pressure on exam answering put that pressure on reading put that pressure on learning while answering stay relaxed only when you stay relaxed your brain thinks better when you are in pressure brain thinking process goes down i'm not saying that you have to do a lot of mistakes but at least see that accept that few mistakes could happen in a main exam all right so that's a message i have few people cleared the exam i also have some news about a person who went for the exam which doesn't go well uh, maybe it could be useful for some of you uh, a person who went to the exam who followed the proctor based exam uh when usually when you hear a proctor based exam we are a little scared what could happen and this person planned well went for the exam uh, what happened is this person uh, was wearing a watch not aware that watch should not be wear so information to you all you should not have a watch you should not have a mobile with you when you are in the proctor based exam unfortunately the person was wearing the watch and uh, the invigilator mentioned what kind of watch can you show that she showed it and then they said remove the watch removed so that's the first warning and uh, then after some time the person was uh, reading the question the moment was there they warned once try to reduce uh, what try to reduce second time again want try to reduce third time they stopped the exam which means the exam got discontinued so uh, if you are going a proctor based exam be a little more cautious because you should not use a hotspot you should not hotspot on the mobile you should not use you should not use a watch you should not have a mobile in front of you you should not have somebody walking behind you your family members don't do that keep the doors locked and they need a purse place where you don't um, try to take a help from somebody else you will not do that but they may think you are doing it so be a little careful on it and also while read the question see if you can read by the mind uh, too much of lip movement they doubt you are reading to someone else so that's a the reason they do that so we are working to help this person how can we get uh, second appearance because sometime a pmi go for a case uh, analysis then they come back and say that it's okay we will give you one more slot to write the exam so that is also possible so if you are going for a proctor based exam be a little prepared if you are going to enter center based exam i'm sure when you go to the hall they'll ask you to take off your watch clean your pocket all will happen this is all possible okay that's a message so and uh, if movement is restricted i'm sorry repeat again even their lip movement is re restricted uh movement will not have a trouble until you create a sound while reading in, if in case you read little louder a person next to you can complain or they may say that what what you're trying to do there so they may ask you that's possible uh, even in exam center that's what that's what possible because they keep watching with a camera everyone will have a camera in front of you so if you're reading and uh, too much is always questionable moderate they will not question too much in the sense a lot of action is happening they keep watching in the camera there is an invigilator who watches everyone they will question why you have to do that you can reduce it or the person next to you makes a complaint that you are reading and that's disturbing the person they may come back possible 
Okay, then uh, let's listen to some of the people who are exam. Then I go for the questions. Anyone here who are certified, you are here. Yeah, I did PMP. You are here. Who's that? Hi, Shri. Hema this side. Hema, clear PMP. Would yeah. you like to be in the cam if possible? Yeah, sure. Okay, there you are. There you are. That's Hema. Mm -hmm. All right. You are in the spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel after the exam? Getting certified? Relaxed. Getting... Relaxed. relaxed. <laughs> you had good food. You slept well. Yeah. <laughs> and you clicked and opened and seed your certificate at least two, three times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you said to your family how the exam tough and you celebrated. Yeah, <laughs> celebrated since one week. <laughs> one week. So you had a cake cutting, party. <laughs> all <happened>. Parties. <laughs> Parties happened. Nice. Office celebrations. Like my manager was very happy than me. So yeah, he mailed to everyone saying that she's certified. And he also posted it on LinkedIn regarding wow. my name nice. and all. So he wow. was more happy than me. <laughs> nice to know. You have such a good manager who is supporting this. <laughs> Yeah, there are some people who have to hide from the manager. <laughs> I don't want to declare this guy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice to know, Hema. So when you clear the exam? exam? I cleared it on February 2nd. <clears throat> End of February. Days have run a little around. And uh, uh, some of the points I was talking about the exam, it was moderate, tough, and uh, exam was like this for a few people. How was your experience with the exam? I also felt it is moderate tough because uh, like I felt in the initial level it was okay middle mm -hmm. was like like initial level I was able to do it in 80-85 uh, minutes but still I extended five minutes more because they say that 90 minutes you take and then you go to six, 70 minutes and then 70 so that was a uh, stupidity which I did so I shouldn't have extended till 90 minutes <clears throat> I ah. did that 90 minutes then I okay. took a break I had a nice break I had eaten chocolates I had juices and then yeah. I went back. So in the second set, there were like five multiple choice questions. So they ate off my most of my time. And uh, it was like 75 minutes. I The moment I completed, it was like 75 minutes for the second set. Mm. So after second set, I when I took the second break, I was totally like, okay, now what should be my strategy? <laughs> no, no having water, nothing. But I was just all of the eight minutes. I was just thinking, okay, what should I do now? Because mm. I have to finish... 60 minutes, 65 questions, uh, like 65 minutes and 60 questions it is. Mm -hmm. And she, uh, she mocks are like 60 minutes, 40 questions. We always do that. So it is okay. like pretty relaxed. So this was like, oh my God, now what should I do? And I was just thinking, <laughs> what, what, how can I make it more better? Mm. So what I felt was like, I was reading a question twice, thrice. So mm. I felt that I should read a question once very carefully and then answer it. So with that strategy, I went inside and I finished like only I was just looking at the question answer question answer nothing else nothing was going in my mind and within 30 minutes I finished 40 questions and I was oh. like under pressure like oh my god whether I'm answering wrong or what like because of that huge pressure <laughs> uh, it should not happen like I don't want to miss any one question because that question may make me pass that was the only intention I had so that's the reason I did not want to miss the question, but that with that pressure, I also did not want to answer it wrong. So uh, with 10 minutes of, so I had 10 minutes prefer more. So mm -hmm. I went back and I checked, okay, all, all the questions were like I was answering correctly only. So I felt like whatever I was answering, I was answering correctly. So then I finished the other part and then I completed and then I asked the invigilator, can you please click on submit because I don't want to do that. Can you do it for me? <laughs> she said, ma'am, there would be, there would be no answer displaying here answers uh, to be outside uh, so I said whatever it is you do it and by that time by that 60 minutes 65 minutes I was in so much pressure and my adrenaline was flowing so high and I just felt feverish because that 60 <laughs> minutes 65 minutes it was too much of pressure for me and I can't work in pressure mm -hmm. I needed some relaxation so mm -hmm. I was feeling a bit temperate I was feeling a bit uh, no, feverish I finished it I went out and then she said pack everything and then okay. come and give you the screenshot 
So mm. by the time there were two or three people, girls uh, who also were appearing for PMP. So they mm-hmm. took their PMP paper and they left. And it was now my turn to take. And I was like very scared. <laughs> you, oh, I should go or no, I should go or no. So I just went and asked her, uh, can you just let me know what it is? So she said, congratulations, she said first. So I was not wow. believing her. <laughs> so I said, for what? So she said, you cleared it. So I said, where is that pass? I couldn't find out also where is this pass. <laughs> there are four or five lines and they don't, they are appearing very small. Yeah. <laughs> then I relaxed and I was like, cooled down. Then I had water. <laughs> then I had my <laughs> breakfast again because I was so much in tension. Oh my God, what will happen? What will happen? So the last, I can say last 60 minutes were a game changer. It's a, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. whatever can happen in that 60 questions of mock last third set. So be careful. If you finish okay. it early, just submit it. Don't waste my, uh, just the way I did it. If it mm-hmm. is in 80 minutes, that's okay. Just finish it off. Yes. And then see that how you can do with the other set of questions. Right. So that's a learning for me. Amazing, Hema. I think uh, while listening to you, I feel like we were in the exam center now. <laughs> and I'm getting the live feel of being there. <laughs> but it was too much of pressure. Like last first 60 seconds, 60 were okay. Tough yeah, questions okay. were tough. Everything was fine. Things were moving, but in the last 60, it was like, oh, you, you can't even breathe. Just question, answer, question. And I'm sub- okay. and I'm seriously surprised how a brain works. What you say is like Parkinson's. I could remember that. Like the more you take time, the more it expands. And exactly. the more you compress it, our brain really gets adjusted to all those uh, situations. Exactly. Yeah, things like that. That's a good thing. That's a, once again, congratulations. Like Thank what you. they sent to you uh, because uh, under pressure, you performed well. That's, I think that that's what pretty important, right? Last uh, few questions, if you got nervous yeah. and if you don't choose those answers, that will reflect your results. That's true. Yeah. Fantastic. Good job. Good job. I'm sure when you're doing in the pressure, your brain already thinking, what if I lose the exam? Eh? Sometimes that also happens, right? Uh, no, but that thought are... was not there, Sri, because last 60 minutes, my strategy was only question, answer, question, answer, nothing else. I was not seeing anything, no thought of pass, fail, nothing. Only yeah. I wanted to finish all my 60 questions. Very that good. was the Very only good. thing. That was only good. thought. Concentration is important. Nice to know. Emma. That's a really good one. So you had any math question? Uh, no math questions. No math questions. No maths, and... but then there are match the following questions, Sri, uh, which mm-hmm. takes some time because you have to mm-hmm. drag and drop. Some of the questions doesn't drag. So there is a trick for it. I mean, even I couldn't understand. I asked the invigilator where to drag. She told me here to drag. So because of that, I lost three minutes. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. And uh, yeah, yeah, what you're saying is correct. I heard from some of them that drag and drop is consuming time. Uh, for everyone, recommendation here, uh, when you get this kind of question, um, don't spend too much of time. Try one attempt with the drag and drop. Doesn't work. Choose any answer. Move away. The more you stay on this question, it's going to just kill your time. Uh, because in the drag and drop on the left side, they'll have the ask. Right side, you'll have the answers. You drag and drop on that place. When you drop, it'll hide the answer. Now you drag, drop, drag, drop. Maybe four or five answers you dragged up. Now your brain thinks, what was the answer? Can I redo it? Again, you have to drag it back. Uh, I yeah. think PMI has to work on that screen view a little more better. Because once you drop on a box, it hides the answer. Mm. So your brain don't know what was the answer there. If you want to see again, you have to take it out. Uh, it's a time consumption process, what I understood. And I recommend many people here, see if you can do it at one shot or a two shot. Don't go for third shot it's okay worth leaving it as i said if for 40 50 questions accept yourself yes mistakes will be there so it's okay to keep moving but our human tendency is like this you won't leave it <laughs> <laughs> we will stay in the same place huh? there is something called a monkey story i don't know how many of you heard about it the catch a monkey with putting some peanuts in the box it can put the hand inside it will take the peanuts once it takes a peanut it can't take the hands out if it leaves it the hand will come out but monkey won't leave it. <laughs> so uh, even my brain or your brain, sometimes like that, you hold it, you won't leave it. So sometimes we have to leave it, then it will move away. So see in exam hall, please leave that move away. Easy to say, hard to do, but make the practice. 
fantastic hema yeah. nice to know one more, uh, one more thing mm-hmm. i would like to say ashri whoever mm-hmm. are like appearing for this pune maybe this recorded video whoever sees it like uh-huh. pune centers are very strict very strict they don't allow you jackets <laughs> they don't even allow the ear ear studs uh, no, this yeah. fingers uh, like rings mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. bracelets you have to remove everything in fact if you are wearing dupatta that is also they say okay you are not supposed to carry all these things tie your hair everything like very super strict there so some some are like your mom right saying that i you have properly put your dress properly <laughs> mom <laughs> you are here that was very too much she i don't know why were they doing so much oh. because for information hema uh, this is not only for pune uh, it's international uh, they do this some country they don't press heavy but ask you to empty your pocket uh, but at least in asia or in india what i found is the scan also happens they do use a metal detector okay. to scan your body did they do that for you no not the scanning but i was like surprised why do i have to tell them to remove the rings all the they use bracelets. they use a lens in that they have a lens camera uh, camera will be set there you can record the questions okay. through that you can have a camera mic on this there are many devices available for that reason when i went for example some years back they ask you to take my glass they scan the glass in the glass i can use some lens yeah. to record the question so for that reason they do this in order to maintain the quality or uh, some standard they have to do this i know it's a little annoying uh, but yeah that's how it is yeah, she it is like already cold too cold over here in pune when i was appearing it's now hot over here so uh, okay it, you're shivering like, a little bit and moreover you know it's an ac room and already with uh, two three days sleepless nights you're already sick <laughs> so okay. with this they tell you to remove jacket luckily i was wearing a sweatshirt full, inside full sleeve you were okay, okay yeah i was wearing uh, the, uh, like all those full sleeves things so i was Fine, okay. but then if you go with all those, uh, like if you don't yeah. wear all those things, then it is very terrible. You will fall sick there itself. That's a good information. I think it's a good information. People going there should wear a full sleeve and be prepared. All right, that's a message. Yeah. Nice to know. Good to know, Hema. Fantastic. All right, that's a uh, good um uh, information and uh, happy to see your smile. That yes, I did it. Huh? <laughs> great right keep celebrating and uh, as i always say this uh, apply what you learned because you are hard earned it as your manager is also supporting that's really good news now collaborate with the management apply some of this what you learned not all you can apply some of this that will stay with you okay all right then thanks a lot uh, hema that's Thank hema you, yeah. fantastic fantastic Great, that's a good news, right? Hearing somebody clear the exam and experience. So uh, good. Him, I remember it. It's almost a uh, ten days now or nine days now. So I know some of them going for exam in another five days, ten days. So I expect you to come back with some experience. So come up with a good experience to listen. Uh, there is a question here in the chat box. Um, is there multiple attempts possible after paying the fee? Uh, answering you, Raju. and everyone here yes multiple attempts possible usually when you submit your application form and pay your exam and uh, you have one year time in this 365 days you can take three attempts but there is a trick here uh, every attempt you have to pay the money okay uh, there was other guy was talking to a different country person and he was uh, very happy it's okay i'll lose one exam then i'll write another exam to clear it and then i said every attempt you have to pay the money oh really then i have to clear now <laughs> so if they give three attempt our people what they do first two attempt they use as a mock exam third exam they go for the main clearing right pmi want also earn money so they make sure that every attempt they charge you money first attempt there will be a full charge second attempt could be i believe some percentage they reduce third also some percent reduced so first attempt is a full charge that to allowed in a th- three attempt in a 365 days three attempt if we lose the exam they would tell don't come to exam for some time take a break one year later you have to apply for the exam so pmi says that thanks a lot we got lot of money from you you are our sponsor we earned the money so please take rest collect some more money save money come back again we will get you we want your money we won't say no come back later once you save the money so that's what pmi says uh, however it is with us what i say is please share me your score and tell me where are you at least i will stop you if you are not going well i'll tell come on hold on let's take a couple of more weeks time or i can tell you some points do this do this do this that will help you okay 
Fantastic. Good. That's nice to have people here. Uh, do I have anyone else who are close to the exam or plan for the exam in the next uh, five days, 10 days? Uh, hi, Sri Ram. Kalpak here. We Kalpak. Kalpak. Did we connect to the WhatsApp today? Uh, yes, we connected in the WhatsApp today. Fantastic, Kalpak. So when is the exam? Uh, I have not yet planned. I'm just waiting for you. Go ahead. So I just attempted three... Um, mock test from uh, Sri Learning oh, and uh, got 72 in two of them and 66 in one of them. So I just very wanted good. your uh, feedback on should I continue uh, giving all six mock exams or should I uh, go for a study hall to get a touch of PMI uh, language. So what mm -hmm. do you recommend or suggest? All right. And now I remember your chat message. I think I asked you to join this call. Uh, yeah. Uh, right, let me look at your WhatsApp message. You have mentioned you took the exam time 250 minutes. Yes. Uh, your main exam is 230 minutes. Okay. So when you say 250 minutes, this is 250 minutes used for all the question answer or you took any break for? Uh, I took just a short break of five minutes, but uh, I'm utilizing five. the entire time. So which I means you took... Which means you took two forty-five minutes for the main exam. I mean, this full exam. Full exam. Okay. Uh, okay. That you you can improve a little bit here because uh, your main exam is a two hundred and thirty minutes. Okay. Uh, they will give a twenty minutes break. Ten minutes after sixty questions. Another ten minutes after sixty questions. So you are given 10, 10, 20 minutes of break. Okay. But your main exam is only two thirty minutes. Okay. So we have to answer within 230 minutes. One of the strategy, what we heard from Hema right now, she said okay. she took 80, 85 minutes for the first 60. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, people take 80 to 90 minutes, the first 60 questions. Then they take a 75 or 70, 70. So I generally give an average time of 90, 70, 70. It is a not mandatory time. It's an average time. 90, 70, 70. You can question why 90 for the first 60. Usually, the anxiety will be very high in the beginning. So, you will consume more time in the beginning, then you will get better. Last 60, I always seen people go super fast because your brain is already tuned. You know how to answer. So, you will be in the speed. Last 60 questions. Mm -hmm. Now, answering your question, you are ready and well and good for the main exam. You can book your main exam at least uh, 10 days or 2 weeks timeline. You can book your exam. Uh, end of February, you can close your main exam. However, you have to do one thing. You have to take a couple of 60 questions exam. 60 okay. questions. And do this with some time management with you. Have a clock or look at the timer. Follow this. Okay. Once you take this 60 questions, share me the score where you stand. Okay. So uh, basically, I was attempting one more full-length exam today after your session. So uh, you I... Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Do it first and do with the time management what I mentioned, uh, okay. which means 230 minutes is your main exam. Mm -hmm. you utilize only 230 minutes. In Sri Learning, we gave 230 plus 20, which is including your break. Understood. So after 60 questions, wherever you stand, take a break. After 60 questions, yeah. definitely you have to take a break. Go for a coffee or eat something, take a walk, come back. Use only mm -hmm. 10 minutes, 8 minutes. Again, start another 60. Again, another 10 minutes break at 120th question, then close your exam. Okay. Yeah. Sure, I'll do uh, that. Yeah, buzz me once you're done with your exam. Uh, then I'll let you know where to get 60 questions because I'm seeing you from the past batch. You are at least one, yes, one, yes. Half one, one and a half years. One and a half years back. So you may not have the 60 questions a link. You have to reach okay. Rahul. Rahul will help you. Do you remember Rahul? Yeah, I remember Rahul. Very good. Nice. You have to reach out to Rahul. He will give you the link for 60 questions, which you can practice. Okay, sure. Uh, one more question. Uh, what is the waiting time uh, for booking the slot for exam? Like, okay, which city you are, Kalpak? Bangalore. Bangalore. Bangalore should be available. So you're going to go for center-based exam? Yeah, center-based. I don't want to take the risk of proctor exam. <laughs> that is no risk. Things are good. But anyway, good what you're saying. Uh, I would say start searching from today, at least two weeks before. Uh, start looking okay. for it. You should get the slot. Sure, sure. If the slot is not there, uh, wait for it because some people cancel or uh, swap the date. So the slots get opened uh, every few days. They'll book it okay. 
and then they realize i'm not ready so they will move the date to another uh, different timeline so you will always start get seeing the calendar getting freed up so first look out for the date two weeks from now okay if not available give a couple of days if not we'll do, look at a new date sure okay uh okay. you are good kalpak you are good keep moving but keep me posted yeah definitely i'll keep you posted oh, amazing that's kalpak Thank you. All right, good. Um, anyone else with the uh, exam? Amit, go ahead, Amit. Hi, Shri. Uh, so, sir, I actually uh, I'm actually doing ACP. So, I actually uh, my exam date is sixth of March, and very good. Currently, I have given three mock full mock. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I also chat with you uh, on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. in that in first mock I get fifty eight and in second I get sixty two and in the third one which was on seventh step I get sixty one. So got you, got you. I remember the chat with you. Yes. Uh, uh, what I was checking with you is, uh, did I ask you this question? You work in agile environment. Yes, yes, you, you said yes that. for it. So mm -hmm. what is your role in agile environment right now? Uh, right now uh, I'm. Uh, Actually, uh, I'm a team leader in my organization. Team leader. Okay. So you are following some of the ceremonies of Agile already? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. And your team is working in Scrum, Kanban, what they're working? Uh, yeah, we are working on Scrum. Scrum. So how long is this Agile team working with you? Months, uh, years? Yeah, it's it's been years, but uh, not actually uh, we are, uh, we have a client which is, uh, which has converted into Agile. But mm -hmm. they are not following ritually in the scrum because of, we mm -hmm. had a retrospective, but they don't mean they follow retrospective, but sometimes they avoid retrospective. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. You have all the problem because this is what your exam question. Whatever whatever you said, people are not following, not working. That's what the exam question is. Mm -hmm. Now, why I ask this question is in PMP, Agile will be very light layer. Okay, they will ask like a school children. And when you go to PMA ACP, it's like a college exam. Uh, they go agile detail. So you have to be expert on it because it's associated in, I mean, you are an agile certified practitioner. They'll go detail. Um, in Sri learning exam, you have to touch at least a 70 or 75%. All right. That is the mark which will help you to hit the main exam. Main exam is a bit uh, tricky and tough. Uh, you will have 120 questions, right? 120 questions. No break is allowed in exam. Okay. Um, PMI don't give a break in 120 questions. You have to go three hours of time. Recommendation is after 60 questions, you have to take a one short break, five minutes break. Because break not there, it is on your expense. So don't go beyond five minutes break. Just run out, maybe toilet or washroom, drink something and run back. Break is pretty important after 60 questions. Now to become an expert in Agile, I would expect you to read Agile Practice Guide. There is a book that you will read. There is a book called Mike Griffith. You read it. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a book called Essential Scrum. Do you have that copy of the book? Yeah, I have that copy, but I didn't go through that complete book. Uh, there, mm -hmm. there, there is a chapter talks about the roles of Scrum Master, Product Owner. Okay, okay. that uh, area, please go through that. And uh, there are some information about the ceremonies, the planning, retrospective, go through that. That's important. Okay. In Mike Griffith book, in chapter one, Chapter one, right? Yeah, chapter one. The tall principles will be explained by each paragraph. One one paragraph will be there. Some okay. example will be given for each principle. Uh, please be very detailed on the principle. When I say very detailed, uh, all your questions will be based on principles. Every question will connect back with the principle. If it's retrospective, principle number tall. If it is on delivery model, principle number two. They'll go by all by principles. Uh, you won't see any question directly asking what is this, what is that. Every question will go around. Uh, also, they expect you maturity in Agile. So what I want to conclude with you is you are good now, but you have to push a little more to reach 70, 75%. So let's take some more time because you have at least uh, 26 days with you for your exam. Is that correct? Yeah. 26. It's a solid time. In this, you can take at least two or three full exams. And uh, every exam give a gap of three, four days. You take an exam, sit and analyze all the question and get the depth of the principles. Again, take another exam, right? And follow the time management, three hours in this in between, take five minutes break after 60 question. Okay. 
you and uh, keep me posted on how your progress is i will also tell you what other areas you have to read then that will help you go to main exam sure thank you sir thank you so much right and uh, in office whatever a agile problem you have recall that because your main exam is on this problem if a client is not looking at the retrospect you how to convince them um if you do is ceremonies but team is extending the time sprint planning it's going beyond the time what's the problem how to solve it or there is a stand up meeting um people are not proactive to tell what is happening they are reactive you have to ask them now what is the principle where it is connecting so these kind of questions you will expect okay got it super good amit so keep me posted good wishes thank you thank you very much that's great that's what apmi acp all right all right great and uh do anyone here have a trouble of uh, preparation for exam i'm opening the book <gasps> ah feeling sleepy shri <laughs> okay before i have raju in hand raju scared. go ahead oh sorry what is that actually it is not sleep it's getting scared scary <laughs> okay well, what is making you scared is subject is vast content is the depth everything Thank everything you. is scary <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Nice to know. Uh, did you uh, complete your exam application? Booked your exam date already? Uh, no, 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 no. Not yet, right? Not okay, yet. then it's fine. Then you are safe. Then you are safe. So proceed on. Don't be scared. Keep moving. And uh, are you reading something every day? Twenty, thirty minutes? Ah, uh, yes, I am. Nice. Gradually gain. Some people gain the confidence within few days. Some takes a little more extra time. Let know for any help. We'll be happy to tell you what to do. Yep. Yes, thank you. Uh, Great, Anjali. Hey, Let's go to. Good evening. Hey, Madhavi. good evening. Hey, Madhavi. Anjali uh, was speaking right some time ago. She will uh -huh. need a bit of motivation, I believe. I think that needs to come from you. Ah, really? Good. We are here for that. Yeah. We'll happy to help. Great, Madhavi. Thanks for bringing it up. Ah, uh, Raju, please go ahead. Ah, uh, hi, Shree. How are you? Great. Yes, sir. Uh, uh she uh, i think uh, uh i think uh, close to 3 4 days before i have shared you my score mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, uh i that is that is where i started giving the exams uh, and uh, somewhere the scores has uh, went from uh, 48% to 63% and yeah. uh, suddenly yeah. yesterday i took a mock and suddenly it landed me to 53% uh, some of the questions which i am seeing is like you know uh, uh mm -hmm. i think i was not able to do that uh, you know two two or three options were pretty much close and that's where i got you wrong. got you is it a second full exam in sri learning yes 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 that one second mock okay, okay. i think I only three people have attempted it yeah yeah no no there are many people maybe this timeline this year it would be let's ask ananya ananya did recently ananya you did a second full exam yeah hi oh. yeah i did it yesterday how was the paper it was tough okay uh, there were some uh, answers which were like uh, closely uh, uh, matching and uh, it was very difficult to uh, convince myself that it it should be the right answer how much did you score in that ananya i scored 78% oh man <laughs> okay no comparison the score i brought it because you should know exam is a bit tough okay for her 78 is not happy ananya are you happy with 78 see <laughs> so there is always there is a need for a human somebody get 99 i missed one mark <laughs> so life is like that but ananya is good so far for you i'll tell exam is bit tough second exam is tough but i also see that 53 is not a great score but uh, you can improve what you can do is you you know that some questions went wrong now yes. you can point out those areas as a gray area and uh, spend some time there By the way, Raju, you booked your main date already, main exam. Sir, I am actually in Dubai, so I think from ah. every day slots are available. So, so if you so ask right? me to take it tomorrow, I can do it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Let's not go there now. Now, what I do is I'm seeing your scores right now. Uh, full exam, you did well the first time, sixty-three uh, percent, uh, which means you can improve a little more there. Second exam, I know it's tough. I know it's tough. So what you do is a uh, tune little more, then give a pass for full exam. Let's do some sixty questions. Do at least okay. two. Three sixty questions. Let's tune a little more, then go for another full exam. Don't jump to full exam again. I think yeah. uh, some topics like uh, uh, like you know there are 
in people there are different methodologies how to yep. uh, so there also like you know what does x do what is xy do so those are the areas like you know getting jumbled up in my head when i'm answering it so i think okay. i'll give you one more reading shot and all yeah okay got you got you and uh, uh, how is it on the agile part are you having the confidence in agile uh, agile also some mistakes i am doing it sir i no. am not a agile practitioner or uh, nor i have been exposed to all these things okay. but yes in my organization there is a section of projects which were doing it once upon a time i was exposed to jira and other things okay so whatever mentioned like you know there is a daily stand up all those things are now we don't follow because uh, it's a it's a very pretty junior level for me so i'm just a 7 years experience guy yeah that's uh, fine uh, pmp exam is not going to ask you on ceremonies uh, rather they will ask more on um, thought process towards agile for that agile practice guide is a good book a book with 150 or 180 pages yes yes i have that list. you just go through that once also when you read rita 10 rita 11 or 10 which one you are reading i am using 11 sir 11 when you read rita 11 scope management schedule management every topic uh, they will have some information about agile correct uh, that's correct right uh, every chapter is a 30 35 pages a decent time of one week if you just go through that you will again get the hold of the subject that you can do uh, it is not always you have to take exam take a little break 2 3 days only read the subject then come back to the test so uh, that will give you a fresh thought process we yeah, all do that so yeah. great rajesh so, keep uh, shri in a way like you know i think ananya is more like a 78% and also how much should we target like you know on, on most of your mocks like you 65, know by 65 65 to 70 if you can reach is a decent score in a full exam to go for a main okay 65 to 65 to 70 is a good 70 plus is always in the top range when you start getting 70 plus couple of time next 3 days you try the main exam nothing to do there so i you are telling me to tune to that 60 questions for some time yeah, and yeah move out. to 65 to 70 percent that's enough um, okay. ananya is working for pimbok 8th edition so she is working towards it ananya is that right ananya what is that sir i don't i don't understand pimbok no, she is getting she is getting 78 80 percent she is preparing for pimbok 8th edition she is working on the next book until <laughs> she until she propose the next book she won't go for the exam she said hey let me write a new book man then i'll go for exam yeah, i'll write my own book <laughs> <laughs> no i'm writing exam in next uh, 10 15 days she is okay. asking what what is exams man look like kindergarten school exam come on guys give me some tough questions <laughs> <laughs> anyway not pulling your name but actually doing good job you are ready for the main exam <clears throat> okay great Fantastic. i'll follow this uh, trick for a week i i think i'll keep you posted on that fantastic great thanks raju all Thank right i will i'll go to some question papers before i go on if somebody is struggling to read uh, somebody could not do well uh, i would say don't get scared um, this is not an exam which decides your life this also says how we are going to perform in our corporate life uh this is not exam this is your way of life which means if we are scared if you are worried about the exam same happens in your corporate decision making in your real life decision making both will happen uh, if i want to buy a new car uh, if i want to get a insurance for myself sometime i'll think three four times if i am such a person same habit comes in the exam same habits come in the corporate decision making so a company will not see that person as a person who can be a better to go and help the people they will doubt right if every time you think 3 4 times to make a decision and if you make a decision you are not clear you go friend to come back you go friend come back same happens in exam all you choose an answer you click it wrong again you come back do it but see how can i change it over a period of time you will change uh, it is not mandatory that you have to push your exam within one week 10 days two months even take 6 months to write exam it's fine but improve you have waited for 30 35 years to know something called pmp can't you wait another 3 months to make yourself better you don't know what pmp till last year you came to know now why there is urgency it is okay sit and read and learn uh, we cannot compare with everyone it's like a marathon race some people start running early but they may slow down somewhere you can pick up your speed when you can right after 1 2 kilometers your speed can go high 
So pick up your own speed, pick up your own way of working. Don't start comparing and specifically say that when I say scores here, don't get scared. Let them do their job, do your job, right? Uh, the point is you start realizing where I can improve. If you can improve in one month, fine. If it takes six months, still it is okay. It's okay. It takes six months to improve. But don't push yourself to feel that I'm bad, I'm not doing good. Never think like that. Everyone has their own time. So go slow, steady, make it happen. Uh, I'll talk one more person, then I go for a question. Rakesh. Sir, good evening. Good evening. Uh, sir, only one small question. How, I I think, sir, you already addressed too, but still uh, we'll discuss, sir. Uh, sir, um, while appearing for the questions, um, I see uh, the clock is ticking on the left top corner. And uh, sometimes... Um, Your I heartbeat is that... also on the left side. Tuck, 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 uh, exactly, tuck. sir. <laughs> exactly, sir. Okay. So what are exactly happening is um, uh, while reading the question, it takes uh, some time to understand what exactly it's asking. So right. and sometimes when I got distracted with that time uh, thing, uh, mm. I lose uh, focus on certain keywords or and the ex the ex exact essence of the question. What is looking for, mm. asking for, and then when I go through uh, skimming the options available. I somehow uh, can eliminate two, uh, you know, un wrong uh, options, and I can start focusing uh, for the remaining two. Uh, there are also I um, uh, lose my focus. But mm -hmm. when I go through the re retrospective uh, part of it, I mm -hmm. come to know, okay, oh shit, this is what why I lose this keyword, why mm -hmm. I couldn't get it. Uh, so that time I realize my mistake, but somehow I'm progressing. So I request if you can give some solution to part of it sir so point is you are not able to focus okay let me more than i'm saying someone currently practicing let me listen to someone here for rakesh thought do anyone think you two have the same situation you went through anyone else in this room yes she i was facing ah. the same problem and okay. then i started you know um i used to scroll down my screen i don't used to see the time that it was on the clock and I was just, uh, uh, you know, reading the question and was answering to it. So I've just started with the chapter test. I have not started with any 40 questions uh, for now. But yeah, I have faced the same problem. So just thought to discuss. Okay. So uh, any suggestions? If anyone here want to say that, this can help. So I have already, uh, Rakesh has messaged me a few hmm minutes back before the session so i told them that uh, first you should focus on uh the like the problem solving approach so time management will come gradually so first you should be like uh, more accustomed to reading the questions carefully uh, trying to find out uh, what are the like uh, extra words in the question or not relevant to the uh, answers so in that way you can focus on the elimination technique first and after that you can uh, go on the time management uh, process. So when we were attending three classes, that time I also had the same uh, query. You re remember, she I used to ask you that many people used to answer very fast, actually. And I used to take some time reading the question, trying to find out wh uh, what should be the answer mm -hmm. which can be eliminated. So that time I used to focus on the question and the answers which are uh, given there more on the time management part it will gradually come when you are like very accustomed to reading the question very fast that time automatically the time will be adjusted that uh, mm -hmm. how i have felt in my uh, learning journey so now i am uh, solving the mocks so i'm trying to do the time management as well so that comes okay. gradually actually so nothing to be nervous about so uh, i would like to add to rakesh question if i can mm -hmm. So uh, Rakesh, I think, you know, he's a little bit panicking about the outcome. So uh, he should just focus on learning now, then thinking and time management, everything will fall in place. I've only told him um, once the classes are over, right, then things will fall in place even better with the free time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. can focus okay. on studies. All right. So Rakesh, many ideas coming towards you. Rakesh is lucky, you know, whenever he posts a question, there's so many people answering him all the time. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. I am very lucky. <laughs> so Rakesh, I answer you. I think Ananya made a good answer also, Madhavi. Um, what I have seen is when I started learning to driving the car years back, decades back, 
that time i'm not expecting a how speed i can drive i was in the ground there was a drive person next to me was helping me to drive i was trying to go speed he pull my ears and say no speed first learn where is a gearbox learn where is a accelerator learn where is left right mirror don't be on speed first focus on basics that's what he hold me like this okay and this what he hold at it's useful even when i drive the car in us germany india wherever it is i always remember when he hold at focus on the basics okay when the basics are clear speed comes automatically so i'm not saying that you don't have a basics but the point here is when you not worry on that right now worry on what ananya correctly said focus on elimination techniques reading on the questions carefully answering it well gradually it improves and few minutes back for anjali i was pointing out uh, some goes in 10 days some in 3 months some takes a little more extra but it is okay to accept that your time will be there let me give that time uh, so until you don't have a pressure that i have to clear in next 2 weeks you can give the time so time gives that particular answers at the same time use elimination technique number 1 in the first day of the class i would have said when you read a question uh, see who is being pointed out in the question who project manager or an individual who is pointed out second one is the criticality of the question what is the intensity of the problem in the question every question has some problem statement what problem it is and third one is go for the elimination technique see what all can be eliminated this will filter something after that you answer it now focus only on that over a period of time your speed automatically increase and you will come to time main exam 230 minutes pmi as a set which includes extra time which means extra time is 180 questions can be answered in 180 minutes a question can be answered in 1 minute that's how the question paper is but since this question paper is set for more than 200 countries because many people don't have a native english so they get the little extra time that extra time is for 30 minutes of course we are not a native english people right we have to translate that english word into the language what i can think of then it answer comes out so this is very natural rakesh not only for you the answer what i'm saying is for everyone here you can first use elimination technique keywords slowly time improves but still time management need i'm not denying that you have to but not too early take some more time good all right then sir. then fantastic man then let's go for the question today i think uh, time went mostly on discussion let's see some questions also let's see how is it uh request you to confirm you are able to see the screen what i'm sharing now is it visible yes all yes. right let's bring a yes. couple of questions i have few questions i want you to observe the question carefully uh when you read the question read the question from pmi perspective when i say pmi perspective there is a project manager agile manager who is a clear on the concepts and you are going to give a solution for a problem uh, read who is been targeted in the question read the last line of the question very carefully use elimination techniques with this we'll try to solve some question here don't expect you have to be perfectly correct you are going to make an attempt then we'll discuss about that question let's start with the one so sri do you have a timer or anything to for everyone to answer like 2 minutes 3 minutes for this question or how is it yeah let them let them answer i'll give time give your answers in the chat box
okay at least you should have read the question two times now time to fill your answers now let everyone give your answer people in the youtube you can give it in the comment section let me see what you have as answer mm -hmm. I'm seeing one answer is coming up uh, with everyone here. Uh, people in YouTube, you can leave it in the chat box. Let me see what you have as answer. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I see different answers. Let me start with someone here. Before I go to the, what is the right answer? Sharing it. Uh, can someone, okay, I'm seeing some answers coming up in YouTube also. Okay, one says I'm confused. One says answer is yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go a little more here. Uh, can someone let know what is your understanding on this question? What is the problem in this question? Problem statement. So there seems to be some uh, underlying uh, tension between the new team member and the engineer. That is a problem statement. So he's okay. all uh, he's always critic uh, criticizing the work. And when he gave the feedback, uh, that new team member left the. New team member is not familiar with the agile approach. Yeah. that unfamiliar unfamiliar mm. okay that's a tricky part uh, so unfamiliar so for which i'm seeing majority answers went with the e saying that to facilitate a face-to-face -face meeting between the team member and the operations engineer i think there is a conflict like between these two members to so uh basically uh there is a num member who is like you know very new to the agile approach mm -hmm. and he's been exposed to a team like you know where they are working in a agile kind of a scenario mm -hmm. and uh, the guy who who often criticized their previous work it is not necessary he has criticized it right now mm -hmm. and he just gave openly a feedback about the ongoing prototype mm -hmm. i'm not sure like you know why this guy left the room quickly Mm. Maybe for some uh, bad or uh, wrong answer, uh, you know, bad feedback or a wrong feedback. But mm. yeah, I mean, like, you know, there should be some ground rules or some kind of a communication mm -hmm. which should be there so mm -hmm. that, like, you know, in future meetings, uh, that person is not exposed to such, you know, mm. irrational move or something like that. Mm -hmm. Makes, makes, that makes sense. What if, if we have a two answers to be chosen here? Well, it should be D and E. Yeah. D, D and E. Yes, D, D and D comes in. Okay, that's interesting now. Why D comes in? Because the team member is new and he might not be aware of the, of the meeting rules. Yeah. There you yeah, go. Correct. So since the word new, I think Anjali was pointing out, saying that, Anjali, did you say that unfamiliar? Yes, sir. Yeah, I think that's a good catch. Somebody is unfamiliar. So for unfamiliar, giving a ground rules makes sense. Is that answer I'm hearing from others also? Yes. Uh, protocols and communication standards. So the thing is, D stands as strong. Okay. I'm seeing D standing strong. I also am seeing E standing very strong. Facilitate a face-to-face -face meeting between the new team member and the operations. By the way, one question to you. Here, um, uh, this is a demonstration is happening. Okay, and it is from a particular person called operations engineer. This person may not be your team member, could be external person from your team member, uh, who, who could be from the business unit, who could be your end customer, 
who could be your end user somebody who is going to come here and this person always uh, who often not always who often criticizes a previous work appears unexpectedly and gives a very direct feedback is it direct feedback is a wrong approach or a good approach or is, is it a wrong approach first of all direct feedback is a no. wrong approach good no, good approach no, no good approach not, not a bad approach right it's it's fine if that's a case why you have to set up a meeting do you think are you going to annoy this stakeholder do you think so if you say this is as a direct feedback is good it's not bad right it was not he or she is not a harsh no but sir uh, it depends upon person to person also there is already a conflict direct between feedback. these two guys aha uh -huh. how it is depends to person to person when you talk feedback about the product not an individual how how the acha okay i'm not talking how the about person it. is going to take it uh, that's also matters like how how is his understanding and true i i like that point true the point true the point but still uh if you remember in conflict management we learned in part of the class focus on the issue not on the individual uh, right, which means when they talk about the prototype or a product and that person is a straight on the feedback i believe it is on the product not on the individual i'm fine to doing a face to face but this person is fine but how your customer will take it he or she will question back is it wrong that i should not come to your demo is it wrong that giving a feedback about the product why i have to come for a face to face meeting do you expect such question you set up this meeting for example you are setting a meeting on monday monday you set up a meeting 3 to 3:30 pm a teams microsoft teams meeting and you say that i have to sync up with my new employee and for you do you think your client will accept this meeting uh see um is the d implying that uh, we'll have to have a retrospective with mm. uh, the with the person who has criticized this could be a retrospective meeting with the person who just walked out ah uh, you mean the team member the new team member yeah, isn't correct yeah yes so the team should the team lead should uh, reiterate the ground rules at the next retrospective meeting mm -hmm. especially the engagement protocol how to engage and communicate here we are not saying this guy is wrong here we are not saying this operation engineer is wrong we are trying to bring to a common ground and uh, i think anjali and other team were pointing out unfamiliar person yes we have to tell that in agile we constantly have a feedback loop in the feedback loop we expect a direct feedback if they don't give a direct feedback i am going to beat the bush my product will not be good somebody has to straight away tell that the product is having trouble it's a product not an individual they are not telling you are bad they are telling the product should be improved the color which you put is not good we asked for the blue you have made a light blue we didn't ask this blue that's a direct feedback for this if somebody walk out of the room and there is something right we have to watch out now i am spending time on this question is um d looks better here because uh, you are going to talk to the person i'm not saying that guy is wrong but make him to understand because unfamiliar about agile also new person welcome to the new team member right that's what you have to make explain but uh, i'm a little worried on the ce because if i facilitate nice but uh, how my client will take it how my product owner will take it next time they will think do i are you criticizing me not to give a direct feedback so that your customer will your team member is not happy you may come across that kind of questions also okay let's see what can be a good answer what can be a good answer uh, it goes with the b and d for some reason i missed to mark two choices that's why i asked you which can be two choices i saw majority of you inclined towards the d the primary reason i really uh, I liked it what you said the new member is there you have to reiterate the ground rules i like this point when you all brought down have anyone thought about b also if you're not thought can you think once with the b is it uh, something useful answer the b ajay ah go ahead please uh, yeah it's uh, it belongs to agile uh, sorry principle number 
for self organizing team yeah number 12 what is the principle of 12 can somebody read uh, it right principle you know? 11 actually the best architects requirements uh, and designs emerge uh, from self organizing team very good very good self organizing team come with the requirement design and architecture how about print, principle number 12 can somebody read about the principle number 12 at regular, regular intervals at regular intervals the team reflects on how to become more effective uh, then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly behavior look at the word Do you record the word behavior? Uh, yeah. The behavior is something different. We are talking about all of the teams to figure out their own relationship behavior. See, we are talking about a generation Z, which is knowledge workers. Do you remember that word in the class we spoke about it? Knowledge workers. When you talk about knowledge workers, they mature over a period of time. Of course, I like this point of ground rules. on top of that every iteration end team will sit and converse that's a principle number 12 in agile which talks about at regular interval what is a regular interval i don't know maybe one week two week three week five week you tune adjust your behavior whatever this guy did nothing wrong whatever this person did nothing wrong but we adjust and tune our behavior if it is wrong you have all the rights to question back but there is a way of doing things right that's what they wanted to mention and that too they let the team decide let them decide that's the point they want to say by this what this question is trying to see from you is are you understanding your team in agile is empowered have you heard the word empower empowered yes. okay uh are also they want to know are you understanding that you are working with the knowledge workers also they are understanding that your team should have something called ground rules right ground rules should be there and that's what this question is trying to see so far so with shri, me uh, so shri how come answer d the reason being we don't have team lead concept in agile right you can call an a coach maybe a scrum master could be an uh, uh, lead you, you can be a lead role there see this is okay. if you see last 10 years we are still struggling to fit in the roles <laughs> because Agreed. in scrum in scrum one methodology it's very clear you have a scrum master product owner team members but that is one of the methodology many companies still have the team lead project lead project manager delivery manager now we are struggling where to fit in these roles but as a whole agile uh, many uh, books still recommend that a lead could be a person who is a coach who is a person who is capable of driving a team so that's what they giving this kind of question got it okay first thanks for answering all the question here and answers here i think we discussed something uh, shall we see one more question yes okay people who went with e don't feel bad you did a good job now i wipe uh, went little detail on e here is uh, i want to mention you that direct feedback is not a wrong thing you have to understand it's not a wrong thing because i have to press it out main exam also you will see such question some culture direct saying people don't accept it people want go round the way to tell you don't look good okay in some culture at least some of the cultures are very clear they straight uh, straight away they give a point hey that's not working properly right that's what it is uh darshana the answer is in front of you b and d yeah that quick all right another question this is a hybrid hmm in youtube also i'm seeing some people went to d okay
uh good to see less than a minute many of you started giving the answers which means your reading ability is good in such questions um majority going to the c so can one of you tell me what is the key in this question or important term to be observed improve the quality of communication, communication. Uh, i'm sorry there was a Mix and watch, voice. Communication. Quality of communication. Is this, is this the one? Yes, improve the quality of communication. Okay, and they are the critical stakeholders. Yes. Okay, nice. Now, that is not the question, right? Question. This is just a story. Question is asking, what is this? How is this an example of continuous process improvement? Okay, what is this continuous process improvement? That's the question. Now, this question is a very generic question. Okay, nothing more detailed on a question, very generic. Okay, let me also give some time for the people in the YouTube. You can give your answers in the chat. Uh, meantime, uh, can you help out at least two answers to be eliminated? This time, let's use elimination technique. You feel totally irrelevant. D, D. Uh, D option, crime rates will decline. Maybe, maybe oh. not. Oh, B and B. Because of bringing this app and communicating, crime rate will not decline. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. So, but doesn't make with this answer correct, isn't no. it? Okay. Okay, I see that valuable point. Uh, any other choice you want to say? No, this doesn't make sense. So, continuous improvement doesn't. Uh, the question is all about. Giving an example of continuous improvement doesn't speak anything about receiving monthly updates. Ah, okay. Things. Okay. The updates doesn't make sense, isn't it? That's yeah. not the... Okay. Very good. So A and D pulled out. Very good. So the question is about the continuous improvement. If A and D pulled out, the competition is between these two guys. Now, now let's focus a little more closer. I saw many went with the C. Why you thought C is a good answer here? Anyone want to speak up? to improve the efficiency ah so the goal of continuous improvement is to improve the efficiency is this true is it the goal here that's a goal uh -huh. even yes. though this question is not so technical but it is trying to see are you thinking from the perspective of something continues to be improved what you can improve you can improve the efficiency and the quality of communication Okay, why not to B, even though we came close to B and C, why not B? Is it something we have to worry about app development here? No. Right, it, it looked like something it's talking different, right, rather than continuous improvement. Okay. It's not serving the purpose of the main uh, thing which is being uh -huh. asked in the question. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. 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 That's a good choice. Now the answer is here, uh, as most of you chosen it. This app is an example of an organization taking notable improvement steps in one of its own internal critical process. They're improving their process. Continuous improvement is a, a Kaizen principle, if you heard about it where we start looking for how can I improve the way we are. In this case, to improve stakeholder communication, it's one of the cases. This, in this case, this can be done in your railway stations where you are. As a continuous improvement, they can improve how the customers or people get inside the station, book the ticket, board the train, come out. You will see how can I improve as a continuous. They will bring electronic board on the railway station to get the announcements of the trains coming in. They have a trash bin. They will have this. They, that's a continuous improvement. So on the angle of thinking from the police officials, what is a continuous improvement? Here they have a critical stakeholders. Continuous improvement is you work on. That's why they say that how to improve the efficiency and the quality of communication. So that will smoothen the process. So this comes from the um, uh, agile, also non-agile, because Kaizen is not only for agile. We are talking this from 1940s, even from the Toyota model, how to continuously improve. So the question is looking from that perspective or is your brain thinking of which can be continuously improved? Good job. 
Good job. Uh, shall we hit one more question? You are ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Uh, meantime, yes, have your question also. I said I will listen to a couple of your questions. Uh, let's bring up a couple of your questions also where you have trouble. One other question. This time is a little critical. You have to go with the three answers. Go. We are close to a minute. Let's see. Oh, yeah. People started giving answers. Uh, first, do anyone like this uh, concept of government doing it? Huh? Sugary products yeah. getting attacks. <laughs> do you think this will hel help our uh, improve our health? <laughs> yeah, possibly. Possibly. Poss Possibly, we'll improve our health also. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, now let's uh, get to the point. Um, first, you understood the concept in which uh, the keyword here is uh, uh, shared understanding. Did, any, did anyone observe this point? Shared understanding. Yes. Okay. Uh, the project build a shared understanding of the project goals with the public stakeholders. Okay. There are a number of stakeholders. You have to bring a shared understanding. Now, somebody can explain me what shared understanding means. What does it mean? Means yes, they should mutually uh, agree to that. Uh, very good. Very good. Yeah. It, it is not enforced. a Both come to right. a it is not a point. push. We don't yeah, push, right? It shouldn't be enforced. Yeah. About enforced. Okay, shared understanding. Now, what is the benefit of shared understanding if you bring in a um, public or a team? What's the benefit there? You get in a get buy in from them actually. Exactly. They exactly. support their uh, your project goals. Very good. They they become your ambassador. Right? They become an ambassador of supporting the system. That's a beauty of shared understanding. So the question is: the government is ready to announce new tax on sugary products to fund a healthy healthcare program. The team is working on the first set of goals. It's a very new first set of goals to secure the buy-in from the industry stakeholders and launch a strong public campaign to support the mandate. One day it's going to become a mandate, but now it's do it. Let us see any of one answer because you have to choose three. Okay, At least if you eliminate one, you are very close to the answer. Can you tell me one which can be totally wrong? It doesn't make sense. D. 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 D for Delhi? Yeah. Yes. Okay. D for Delhi is removed. Inform industry stakeholders that a non compliant business will be penalized. But it looks good, right? If you say punishment, people do it. But there is no but share is understanding. You are thing, enforcing right? it. <laughs> you are enforcing something. So it doesn't work. Very good. Very good. By doing this, what happened is you got to very close to the answer because a good luck here is only three choices will be done. If you remove one, so you have four now. Okay. 
Now the other guy is a tricky guy out of all this. <laughs> the other one is a really tricky guy. Uh, now I'm going to ask which one more to be eliminate. I will see different set of people, different answers. Okay, we'll we'll do that now. Uh, one more to eliminate. You have something with you. I will eliminate e e. because. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, first let's go with Aninia, then I'll go to the next one. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I eliminated A, uh, thinking that uh, because the question is asking about public stakeholders, so uh, I felt that uh, that it, it should be more focused uh, towards general public. So in that case, if uh, the partnership between the government and in industry stakeholder will not help uh, this mm -hmm. goal to achieve, so that is the reason I eliminated it. Okay, okay. But uh, do you see this word also? Industry stakeholders, you have to be with them also. You have to get yeah. a buy-in from industry, you have to get buy-in from public, both. Yes. Okay, the, yeah, it's still public I Public is a larger community here, so I just went with uh, BCE. DC. Okay, just a second, Anjali. Anjali, which one do you want to eliminate? One more elimination? A. You to eliminate A. Okay, very good. Now we heard another elimination. Somebody eliminated a different number, different uh, alphabet. E. e. Okay, this one got e. eliminated. Uh, what is your justification? Uh, see, it's it says that we will go in an incremental way. The one ah. with the high, yes, higher sugar sugar okay. level will be yeah will be ah. taxed, and then we explain the ah. how to improve over a period of time. And it's not. But if you go to the C, ah. yeah. If you go with the C, C covers this point that we uh, announce the tax and then we put an advertising campaign to educate the country and Israel about its benefit. Very good. Very good. But both so are different. He, he is not actually securing the point from the industry. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. I mean, okay. uh, there is a bind required here. Like, uh, uh, I mean, directly, there is a clear mandate coming on highest sugar content. Uh -huh. Do you but think that sometimes people people go incrementally they accept it? Do you it, think so? Yeah, it's very new actually. The uh, the keyword is it's new thing something. Ah, so yeah, it, yeah. It's there is a, there might be a resistance. So if you go uh, slowly, uh, there might be more acceptance and uh, uh, gradual, uh, yeah. gradual over time. Right. That's the point, right? See, it's a food item for them. Sugar is something like a drug for many of us. You cannot reduce a drug immediately, right? Slowly, step by step, you have to do it. Uh, incremental is also a place to help. Anyway, I'm not saying no for it. I'm just listening to this also. So I, I thought A gone and uh, E is also gone. So which means uh, most of your team members are agreeing with uh, these two. B and C are agreeing. Hmm, okay, that's interesting, B and C. So uh, uh, launch a national survey program to anticipate how individuals and business will react. Do you think it's a feasible to do this national level survey? I don't think it's feasible, Sri. Yeah, it is a painful process, right? Yeah. Painful process. Okay. Okay. Uh, shall we go and see the answers? What are they? Yes. Okay, man. Okay, I have different answers in the chat box. B, C, E, A, B, C, all are happening. <laughs> okay, let's see what is the answers. Here is the answers. First, check out any of the alphabet. What you chose is there. Chosen is there. Is it there? Yeah, it's there. But uh, unfortunately, they will not give half marks or something like that. <laughs> okay, let's understand this a little more. Uh, but also, by the way, Ayanya, to answer you, I do hear that they give marks uh, in some point percentage. It's not uh, all will be strike out. Some will be right. But let's try to understand what is the answer here. Now, creating partnership with the government and the industry stakeholders so that the industry is prepared. First thing is they're preparing the industry. Okay, yay. You can see, see announce tax along with an advertising campaign to educate. Second thing is you're educating the public as a country. More than a survey, education is happening. You're educating the people. And third one is incrementally approaching by taxing the product. So you go step by step. So first you create an industry relationship, educate the people going step by step. Uh, it is not a, it is not no sequence here, but it is trying to become friendly by bringing something called shared understanding where you bring 
the company inside you educate the people to bring them inside and you try it here if it doesn't work you have to pass here in increment you have option to pass do anyone believe on that in increment you have an option to pass when i say pass yeah. you can slow down you can slow down it doesn't go well give a pass you don't force it uh there is an option and in increment there is another option is you get a feedback two things can happen what you try to get as a survey here survey here this will happen here through people's feedback of using it when they try one or two items they get a bad feedback good feedback both can happen and uh, this is one of the approach do anyone see see this in that angle when you read the question mm -hmm. but she do and do this all in one minute <laughs> in exam all yeah in one minute 20 seconds you have to do this <laughs> that's really little challenging now why i was taking this time to explain this question is uh, when you read a question uh, the shared understanding most of you got it and be a little careful who all the stakeholders here here they marked not industry you cannot ignore them you have to look for the public you cannot ignore them and also you have to see something are feasible non feasible uh, this looks nice but it is expensive time consuming process as a nation nation means doesn't mean a big nation it could be a small nation also but still it is a big process and for that equating you do incremental you can give it and people give feedback and that is also possible uh people went to the e as an answer did you thought in that direction that feedback you will get anyone who chose to the e yes yes i thought like that hmm okay okay and uh, people uh, went with the c did you thought that education is important here yes it is important or as the people yes. will, if people do yeah, not because support, not work nice need nice. to create an awareness first awareness first amazing amazing i, I, I like the way people are seeing the right keywords huh? your brain is capturing that that's a good job all right was it a interesting question yeah it was so yeah all right do someone have a question or i can share another question ready for another question <laughs> okay okay <laughs> then uh, let's go for one more question here it is we cannot see Is it not visible to some people? Now it is visible. Yes, it's visible. Okay. Uh, people on YouTube, you can give your uh, answers. Let me see your chat box. Oh, someone is right there in the chat box. This is a single option thing or? Yep.
Okay. I'm seeing few answers. Let me give a few more seconds. I will watch in YouTube also. Answers start coming up. Satish Halokar. Deepchit Paul. Hmm. Oh, oh, all are going with one answer. <laughs> okay. All right, then let's understand the question now. <clears throat> so what is the key in this question or important area to observe before you choose answer? Seems a project isn't a problem, problem right? Doesn't go well. It's keep failing. Innovation and it's a uh, high, the high risk high tolerance. Risk tolerance. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So let me put this question this way. The sentence here, I always say that the last line of the question is very important. The last line is, how would an adaptive like cycle have helped this project? How would an adaptive life cycle have helped this project? Are they following adaptive now or are they proposing adaptive would have helped? They're proposing that it would have helped. Ah, which means they may be in predictive. Yeah. If adaptive done, how it could have helped? Is that the question? That's the way I have to read it? Yes. If that is the way everyone feels here, then I'll put this way. If you remember the Stacy graph, you remember the Stacy graph? Yeah. Which has technical uncertainty. What is the other uncertainty? Complexity. Requirement. Requirement uncertainty. Uncertainty. When we are certain on this area, we call as a simple. Right? When the uncertainty goes high, it becomes complex. When it is pretty high, it becomes complicated. Complicated. When it's a pretty high on this area, we call it as confusion, right? Confusion, chaos. Yes. Now, point here is requirement uncertainty is there, technical uncertainty is there. So uh, now let's see the question. The project said team is a, uh, set to deliver, set to deliver, okay? In a 12 months timeline, they're, they're clear on what to do, set to deliver. The sponsor encourages innovation. And the project has a high risk tolerance. They can accept the risk. They cannot say no for it. They can accept the risk. However, eight months into the project, totally 12 in this eight, which means they have planned project, 12 months planned project. In this eight months into the project, it is plagued with incomplete and failing prototypes, not going well the way what they want. The highly capable team, the team, team is a nice, good team, highly capable team, is feeling demoralized, which makes sense, right? 12 months work, 8 months are gone, nothing is working, not happy. And the project manager worried or worries whether deliverable will meet after the standard acceptance criteria. I somehow, I'm somehow getting that it's a well-planned project. 12 months project, 8 months gone, something not working, people are not happy, it's happening. How would an adaptive life cycle have helped it? The question is asking, if in case it's adaptive today, how it's helping? This is what my understanding of the question. Are you getting the same feel? Same feel? If you yes. get the same feel, now you help me. Which two answers you feel doesn't make sense, can be removed out? Last one. The Agile does not require acceptance criteria. It doesn't make sense, right? It's, it's a wrong thing. Agile also needs acceptance criteria. Very good. One more answer. You feel that this is not doesn't make sense. B. Less paperwork and documentation are required. Yeah, in this place, I don't think it makes sense. Less paperwork. Okay, very good. B and D gone. So the competition is between A and C. Uh, the project sponsor would have been the product owner. Does it make sense in this place? No. Okay. Project sponsor would have been the product owner. I don't think it's adding any value, but just elimination itself directly you come here. By elimination itself directly you came here. But still, can we justify this answer? 
now the desire for innovation and a high risk or ideal for agile practices is this true is this true if you yes. want to say this is true you should be aware of this stacy graph if you are aware of the stacy graph you will tell yes it's ideal which means in agile projects technology or technical uncertainty high will be there which means uh, how to do something is a question mark and requirement uncertainty is what to do that's also a question mark when this two uncertainties are high ideally we look for more innovation and high risk it's practice it's a practice under this practice you may call i will use a scrum or you will tell i will use something called extreme programming or you will tell i will use kanban it's up to you but the point is are you having this thought process when you have this thought process that's about agility you have a flexibility to accept the uncertainties is this what happening in your mind when you choose answer as uh, c yes okay good then let's quickly see what it is here the benefit of agile uh, to this project would have been the prioritization of innovation prioritization comes in with a high risk tolerance from the start from the start you don't wait till the 8 months in agile what you do you take the high risk work that you attempt at the very beginning and if it fails you have enough time to come out that failure have you heard this term called a fail fast have you heard the word called fail fast in agile have yes. you yes which means this prototype of failing i would have done on the first two weeks or first month of the project i will not fail on the eighth month and scratch my head will it work i would have known in the first one month will it work or not i would have raised a red flag immediately to my customer hey we are facing some problem we need some help here or i have at least next 11 months to come across that particular risky area and this is one of the thing they follow in agile this is what you saw in the previous question also incremental approach towards the sugar tax if there is a problematic area in my city i will first apply that in the beginning to see is there anything i can fail fast and learn and grow for it this is a, this is a thought process 1980s 1990s and 2000 don't wait till the end to tell it will fail tell me in the very beginning at least i have some room to fix my problem the thought process is called agile are you with me so far getting something Yes. all right then then uh, let's give a stop here good uh, good for the people in the youtube i could see good correct answers also thanks a lot for the answers now let me listen to someone here in the group you have any question from your side you feel hey i felt this maybe i can take one question if you have ah ananya is here please go ahead let me see if you can share your screen yes try your screen sharing let's take one question i don't know you're sharing something you're on mute mode yeah yeah i'm sharing just give me a moment please mhm mm can you see my screen ah uh, yeah visible please uh, read out the question yeah so question uh, says that you are working on a project that involves uh, some top secret manufacturing technique your organization has invented and patented hmm. uh, one of the team members on the project has an extraordinary amount of knowledge about this technique she is sought uh, after by others in the organization for advice and we need to help the team with the current project it's important that nothing involving this technique is discussed outside of this project what type of power does this uh, describe so hmm. i just hmm. have only uh, one doubt so i thought that this line holds some value actually it's important that nothing involving this technique is discussed outside of the project so hmm. uh with it be still uh, expert power 
it should be something else okay. i selected uh, based on that situational power uh, first a quick understanding in project management or project management powers there are few powers called as um, expert power referent power punishment is one of the power uh, other one is reward as a power giving rewards so these are the power words correct terminologies situation is a made up word here now let's understand why it is expert okay first first that's what power expert reward in world the number one power is expert power the top one is expert the next one is uh, reward power by appreciating somebody you educate and you motivate that's a second power and then goes down to referent power referent is something you being along with the right people having right system right group that's a referent power the last one is punishment power by punishing some people they will do it situational power is not there now let's go and see why it is expert do you see any expertise happening in this question any expertise yeah, is they are talking about a team member who is having an extraordinary amount of knowledge about the ah, technique okay okay she is out after by others in the organization for advice and will need help the team with the current project okay and he or she is willing to help because of their extraordinary knowledge very good uh, it is important that nothing involving this technique is discussed outside of this project uh, how do you interpret that information you it is so i thought uh, yeah mm -hmm. i thought it needs to be uh, confidentiality needs to be maintained so even though she has knowledge but uh, she cannot share that knowledge so oh, okay. that was my interpretation okay 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 that's what you thought situation okay now i see your point um, but just for information repeating again in um, in uh, project management these terms are there called as what i mentioned now expert power this power and here it is purely pointing to somebody having expertise on that particular knowledge and people are reaching out to her that's why that's called expert power okay yeah so in, in, yeah in this case uh, hmm. so uh, it, it's not necessary that project uh, manager should have that power so anybody else can have that power uh, and, yeah yeah uh, of course of course ah, okay let me give a little background uh this powers doesn't come by a role um okay. you you approach for example uh, imagine there is a uh, there is a mobile service center in your place okay you have a good mobile phone very expensive phone and uh, you hear that the service center doesn't do a good job however there is one guy in the corner of the street or maybe 5 kilometers away does amazing service okay he is not from any center mm -hmm. but if you give your mobile it'll be amazing guy who make it super good working now many people what they do is rather going to the service center which is authentic which has a power to do but they prefer go to this particular person because of expert power now expert power doesn't come by because you are from an authentic delivery center expert power can come from anyone who has great knowledge and expertise on some particular area hmm? yeah that, that is what it. they are trying to explain here okay okay thank you all right then uh, good then we are top of the time here in fact more than the time now i have to go for the next class uh, was it good session today you had some knowledge about some questions was it helpful yeah yeah very helpful yes yeah. Yeah. good good great so what we'll do here is uh, we will continue this process again uh, bring up your questions we have something called expert group i believe some of you should be part of it keep conversing the topics there uh, bring us those questions and we have more experts here who are really prepared preparing or cleared the exam let's keep up that conversation that will help us a lot and uh, happy to hear all people getting certified in next one week i have a few more people going for the exam Uh, stay confident as i said in the beginning of the class um, depend on your lifestyle and go for your examination and preparation don't compare your scores with anyone don't get worried be on your speed do well reach out for any help straight directly to me or rahul or set of people we'll be happy to help you good wishes and keep rocking catch you again see you all thank you bye bye bye, -bye.